I've always been sort of obsessed or preoccupied by the sort of meaning within movement or the interpretation of movement or the interpretation of geometry. For me it's about kind of trying to unravel or, or give us a higher sense of, of our reality or of our perception or the limits of our perception. So often the works will use movement to sort of try and um, show us how our perception envelope is not as complete as we may have assumed when we were younger and chiseling away at one sense of reality. A lot of the works will, will create spatial sort of situations with light and shadow that are surprising or off-putting or kind of ask questions rather than answering them. Dark Heart was a piece that I made in 2007, I think. And it was a commission for a lake in Gloucestershire in this really beautiful ruined um, kind of monastery next to Sudeley Castle. So this piece in its simplest form is two light bulbs that are rotating and moving away from each other in this perpetual dance as they rotate and spiral into the middle and then spiral out to, the, to its periphery. So it's constantly expanding and contracting. There's sort of this, this dark romance about these two things which kiss for a second and then they were in this eternal dance where they sort of are, are both repelling and attracting each other. Putting it on the terrace there in that brutalist, um, those overhangs of those sort of terrace walls is really exciting and here it feels much more sort of optimistic. There's a more sort of celebratory element to it. It doesn't have the same sinister essence I feel, but I don't know, maybe hopefully some people see that dark romance in it still. I try and put the cloak of the rational onto these works, that they, they have this appearance of a rational intent. So I don't want them to look whimsical or irrational, but then beneath that there is a, a more irrational heart. So you're sort of led down a, a garden path that one assumes these things are functional, rational, useful, but actually at the end of the day they are um, irrational and quite useless in terms of producing stuff. I mean, I think the thing with machines is that they all share a commonality of being either doing something faster than a human can or more accurately than a human can. And if you, if you make a machine with all the trappings and the aesthetics and the, and the authority of a machine, but it makes something more slowly than a human can or less accurately, then it's sort of, it's very confusing and people don't know what to make of it. So I think it's quite, I often use this sort of cloak of the rational to sort of hide the sort of artwork within it. 